The dress code in Ottawa is usually more business than casual, but for today at least people there are letting loose. The new CFL team is playing its home opener, and as Vashi Capellos reports, fans are painting the town red and black. Where I... The memories come flooding back when Mark Cosmos talks about his days as an Ottawa Rough Rider. We had a great team. We had we had a working team. Cosmos was the team's captain back in 1976 when it won the Grey Cup. That's him hoisting it. It would be the last time an Ottawa club won the Cup, and three decades later, the CFL closed shop in the nation's capital. Cosmos was so upset he used poetry to convey his emotions. Have you ever walked in sorrow, alone and wondering why the game you loved for so very long would wither up and die? It's been eight years, but football here is back. Tonight is the Ottawa Red Blacks home opener. And this brand new stadium is sold out. Go Red Blacks, go! Woo! But while people are certainly excited to have football back in Ottawa, that's not the whole story. It's about the bigger picture and the optimism surrounding the Canadian Football League. In the 90s, the CFL was on the brink of bankruptcy, but the last decade has seen a return to local ownership, a new TV deal, new stadiums, the possibility of new franchises in Quebec City and Halifax, and of course, the Red Blacks. Almost 17,000 season ticket holders, a competitive team and great corporate support. You know, this team is going to be around for decades to come. To be sure, there are challenges. The Toronto Argos still struggle financially, and though a recent labour dispute is over, it was contentious. But taking in Ottawa's new stadium, sports writer Howard Bloom says overall the CFL has never been stronger. What's so great about the Canadian Football League? It's Canadian. And now that Canadian League once again includes the capital city. Poetic justice for Mark Cosmos. Surely it's a dream I'm in for no feeling like the one I've shared was ever meant to end. Vashi Capellos, Global News, Ottawa.